everyone and welcome back to the channel we are on another rewire today so it's only a small one this so i'll take you through it uh we're in langollen in wales um so a bit of a bit of a drive for us but um it's a nice little job this one to be fair and uh, what i'm doing first first and foremost i'll give you a quick tour around the house so living room with a staircase in it kitchen Landing, if you can call it a landing. Bedroom, bathroom. <laughs> that's it. That's all we've got in this property. A um, few things for us to watch out for. Um, TT system in here. Well, not really to anything to watch out for. We've just got to put an air rod in this one. Um, the entire back wall of the property. And also, obviously... A little bit from the side is being tanked this is actually a retaining wall believe it or not there's a garden that actually finishes around about this line here of the at the back of the property so you know nothing i'm avoiding that wall like the plague i've done all my marking up which i'll show you in a minute um managed to keep everything off that back wall so there's no nothing that needs to be done on that back wall which is great um this is the closest to it that we're coming with this socket, but this is a stud wall here, so that's that's fine. We can we can grab that. Um, second thing to uh, sorry, should it tank walls? Second thing, third thing, is there's no sort of floorboards, no traditional floorboards per se. So we all know we've got this type of board. It's um, it's a little bit of a nightmare, but what we're gonna do? Uh, four inch. Four inch old cutter with the router's edge on it, and we'll put uh, them blanks in, uh, the four inch blanks. Just makes it a little bit easier when dealing with this uh, floor. Uh, another thing we've got going in this property is electric heater. He heaters, sorry. So we've got one in the bathroom, one in the bedroom, one in the living room, one in the kitchen. So they're going in. Uh, I always struggle to pronounce them. Renite? Rowanite? Somebody will correct me in the comments, I'm sure, below. Uh, but we're going to be fitting uh, that type of heater in here, which will, uh, they're really good heaters to be fair, so I'll show you them as well. Probably going to break this video down into a couple of different parts. Now, first things first, I've been marking up, so as you can see behind me, got switches on it, um, 120 to the top, uh, well 1200 to the top rather, and 450 to the bottom for the sockets, I don't know if you can see them there, there you go. Uh, the one next to it, as you can see, is for uh, the heaters. Now, I'm going to be trying to do these down in a single chase. So, single chase there, minimise and chase them wherever I can. Uh, in the kitchen, I've just got to wait for the, the clients on the way down. So, I'm going to wait for the kitchen plan for here. Uh, this side of the wall, I can go ahead with uh, just coming straight down. Uh, now, before anyone says, isn't outside of the zone, we've got um, our few spare for the heater going there. I'm gonna put the water heater switch here and switch for the kitchen here. Again, just to minimize chasing. So that will be that. Um, and what I'm gonna do first and foremost, now everything's sort of marked out, uh, gonna get all my back boxes drilled out now, all my chasers up with the chasing machine. Uh, I'll set you up on a, on a time lapse to see that. Um, and once we get that done, I ideally want everywhere chased out first so that uh, the, you know cables aren't in the way uh, doing the chasing out. Everything's chased out first. I've had a look at my runs. I've, I've had a little look where all my runs are going. Fuse boards up here. As you'll normally find with a TT system over at cables. Uh, boilers getting ripped out so I don't need to worry about the boiler supply. This is going to be a bit of a holiday home so the, that's the reason we're putting electric heating in here. The client uh, doesn't want that sort of fear of a gas leak while they're not on the property so they're changing over to a lucky heating system um so yeah gonna get cracking get all all my chase work done once all my chase work's done start throwing some cables in right let's get you set up
days we're going to be putting an air thread in outside here. Um, a little tip when you're doing it, uh, you can knock it in on the Kango on your hammer drill. Just put a, a different shove in it. I'll show you how I'm going to do it now. Uh, just finished getting cleaned up with the, the big wipes. Now, it's Thursday now. I'm actually coming back here on Monday because uh, I've got a job to go to tomorrow. Um, some power in the shed with some SWA. So I've got to be there tomorrow. Uh, giving you a quick update where we're up to with this one. Uh, I'm probably going to do this in a couple of videos. So this will probably be the first part. Uh, all the chase work's done. So as you can see, chase work in there. Socket was going in here. It's now on the return. Uh, just where the client wanted it. Uh, sockets over here, which is going back entry into the kitchen. There's one behind that monkey board. A uh, couple of cables are then over to the light and whatnot. Uh, this is going to be main, um, main room down to where the heater is going to be. So that's going to be a heater feed at the bottom. Um, there's a, it looks like a double box here, but it's actually going to be two singles. It's going to be the kitchen light, so as you walk in, kitchen light switch, and also an immersion switch as well so that will be doing that just so that they, they're going through the full lucky heating system in here so it's just pointless of being upstairs for them i mean we will put a switch next to the immersion heater but at least they can control it down here uh, if they're sitting in the living room it's, it's just come through as i say there's only the living room and this kitchen downstairs so uh, that's that we've got the um all the chase work done for the uh, kitchen above work top this boiler is going to be coming out. Uh, we've got a chase going down there, which is basically going to be doing under cabinet things um, that we'll we'll put in after the kitchen's being fitted. 16 mil earth up there. That's going out to it's left coiled outside and is going out to our air rod that you see me put in before. Um, I've just also shoved the cable outside for the outside light as well. Got me position from the outside light. Uh, switch as we come up the stairs, which is going to then do the landing. So we'll go up this. Of a rickety staircase. Just, just take to that. That's actually how we found it. It's all locked now, anyway. Uh, switch going in here for um, a two way with downstairs, so up and downstairs. And not a lot done in the bathroom. Uh, the feed is just below here, ready to come up for the immersion. Uh, but I say not a lot done in there, there's not a lot of chase work needs to do. Um, sockets in over here, as you've seen us chasing before, so one there. One there, uh, light switch, and um, that's going to be the heater, so the heater's going to be on this wall in this room. Uh, so, as I say, not here tomorrow, uh, going to be back here on Monday. So, I will probably start by jumping up in the loft, seeing what we've got on the loft. Um, start getting some serious widening. Only take a, a, now all my boxes are in, it's only take me a day to wire this. So as I say, there's four rooms in the whole house. You couldn't even call that a landing. So, yeah. Data wire. Uh, and I've got till Wednesday. I've given myself till Wednesday on this one. So, data wire on Monday. That leaves me Tuesday, Wednesday, if I need it, to, uh, to get the second fix done. So, my name's Goff, and I'm off. See you later.